Hello, um, this is Heather Farrington, and I am here to show you some old CD ROMs that I found with some different kinds of like clip art and stuff on them. So here they are. So clip art, fantasy, sci fi, and they're all bought in the bargain bin at like Big Lots or something. I can't remember, but it was they're about 20 years old. So but I have no idea what are in any of them or on any of them. So I'm just really curious and I just wanted to show you guys. Maybe there'll be something hilarious in there. Maybe we'll find something really good. But anyway, here we go. So the first one is T-shirt maker and it looks like it's kind of unfortunately glued a little bit shy. So, oh, oh no, I'm not too worried about like I'm getting beat up or anything. I just found these while cleaning up yesterday, so. All right. T-shirt maker. That's nice. There in that music to go with her. All right. We can do English or English. <laughs> we'll pick English. So, unfortunately, it seems that the fi uh, CD might be corrupted or just old or scratched up or something. Um, so it's not letting me install it. I've tried a couple times, um, but it does look like some of the... So what I did was I went, just went in my, you know, computer and just went into the actual CD itself and just went to content and I was like, well, I could just look at the, c the specific pictures themselves. So I found out that some of them are actually bitmaps so we can just look at the pictures which is just almost as good but uh i found a few of them which are pretty amazing so there's this cat and then this whole folder of dinosaur pictures which is pretty great so you get some dinos look at those dinos Look at all the stuff we could do with them. I thought this one was pretty great. It's just full of those like cartoony aliens and stuff and <laughs> And there's this sweet like alien chick lady with a ray gun and I'm gonna just post her over here and just like save that and then maybe draw that on my own <laughs> if I ever get a chance. Oh my god. I'm not really sure what Frankenstein's monster is doing and with the aliens, but you know. And Yeti, which doesn't make much sense either. What's Stagnite? Do I want to know what this is? Probably not. Oh, beer. Okay. <laughs> A bomb. Okay. And not sure what that implies. Oh. The funny folder works. Banana badge. No idea what a picture of that even is. <laughs> okay, there's the banana again. What's with these faces? <laughs> okay, all right. Maybe that's funny to someone. I think it's kind of horrifying. So the next CD is Web Clip Art 1, and it looks like it's just pictures and maybe some just graphics. Um, who knows what's on there, honestly. I'm super curious, but... There it is. Okay, so now we're gonna try Web Clip Art 1, and I've noticed that this is actually made by Simply Media Incorporated. So it's a different corporation, maybe that means their discs will work better than the original. <laughs> That's pretty 90s. So it looks like. This CD is also not going to work um, due to my computer bringing in 64-bit version. Um, so I'm going to find out. Oh, and it's all GIFs. Wonderful. So, are they all GIFs? They're all GIFs. <laughs> or GIFs. Whatever. I honestly don't care. Um, so, oh my god, this art. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, what is this? Who 
drew this? <laughs> I may have found a gold mine. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there. Is that, is that green spark thing? Is it, is it, is that saying oops? Oh, I guess, I guess so. <laughs> Way. Oh my god. I also, look at the date on these. 1993. 96. It's been, uh, it's been a little bit. Who would actually use these as, like, on their website? And so, I, there's so much wrong with that. <laughs> What's going on with, like, the resolution of these? Who decided these looked good? Well, anyway, I'm just gonna say on to the next one at this point. So the next CD is Sci-Fi and Fantasy Clip Art, and I'm actually pretty excited about this one, cause look what's on there. Beach Party, The Terminator, Benny, all kinds of full-size images of aliens, griffins, I think griffins spelled wrong, angels, trolls, beasts, and more. What is in store for us? Okay, so I'm really excited because the sci-fi in fantasy, or just sci-fi one apparently is well it's called now, this one actually seems like it's really working and it uploaded and installed with no problems whatsoever. So let's get into it. Let's look at, look, this art is like on another completely different level than the other <laughs> art that we saw. Start aliens and robots, obviously. Oh my god. Do we just click on it? Oh, we double click on it? Wow, that's pretty fantastic. Oh, and there's even copyright information down there. Look at that. That's great. Oh, the back is up here. Okay, that's the worst design ever. Oh, ew, that's cool. Julia Lacomment. Oh, so let's see. What else does Julia have? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, this is like the far superior CD already, so. Okay, maybe that one's like not the best quality, but. Oh, so we have to like go back in each one and then like physically like click on another one. This is cool. This is like, it looks like it's all from the 80s. 91. Okay, that's the most recent one. 94. I like that one a lot. That's awesome. First of all, this doesn't look like an animal. Um, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Alicia Austin. Another Alicia Austin. <gasps> ferret. Oh, Alicia Austin does a lot of animals, apparently. I do like this ferret picture. Um, this also doesn't look like... Oh, that's just a bear in a cape. So Alicia Austin does a lot of them. Oh, that's rad. David Lee Anderson, 1986. Oh, I can't even read that. David Lee Anderson. I can't tell if these are like, cause that looks like it was done digitally almost, but I'm sure it was just, oh, for 1979, Alicia Austin, two ladies kissing. That's amazing. That makes me happy. Oh man, so she says more. Any kind of LGBT art is good art. This one's just space, apparently. Adrian Bourne. All kinds of different. All right, this one's like by far the most interesting one and definitely has the best art. Absolutely. It's not even a comparison to the last one. This is so cool. I might have to look up some of these artists, definitely, because it's so cool. And the last CD is Musical Instruments, a multimedia encyclopedia. And it claims it has over 360 musical instruments using hundreds of pictures, sound clips, musical examples, movies, and text. So, for a 1999 CD-ROM, let's see how accurate that is. 
So it looks like the musical instrument CD is also not working, unfortunately. Um, so I had to come in here and just physically like click on the files again. And these are kind of weird, so. <laughs> It's, it's pure 90s, like MIDI synth. <laughs> Not sure why it's opening up as a video. I got some real, real music in there, so that's kind of cool. Pop video. Oh god. I want this to actually work. It doesn't look like it. Well, I think I found my new theme song. Is it even gonna work? Oh, it's gonna add it to my computer. Alright. <laughs> Not on Bald Mountain, so I'm gonna <laughs> probably put that in either. either. So, oh my god. Well, we had those in the bagpipes one, because, of course. <laughs> First, there's a synthesizer bagpipe. Uh, so this is the kind of stuff you are in for when you listen to musical instruments. I don't know, one? One of one? Okay, so that was these underwhelming slash just as expected CD-ROMs from the 90s. Um, I did find some really cool art on the sci-fi and fantasy clip art CD, so I thought that was pretty nice. And, um... All the, all the rest, unfortunately, didn't really work very well, but, you know, what's to be expected of 20-year-old CDs? Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, you know, all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye!